So the official Champions League account has just released a new video on all their platforms, basically explaining the new format they're going to use for the next season of Champions League, Europa League, and the Conference League. Now you might be asking, how could they make the Champions League, Europa League, and Conference League any better? What would they even change and what was even wrong with it in the first place? Well, this video that they posted has sparked a lot of controversy, and rightfully so. I'm sure you're familiar with how European competitions work, but if you're not, typically in the Champions League, there's a group stage in which teams are drawn from pots, and then they face each other in a round robin. Then the top two teams in the group go to the round of 16, where they progress through the knockout rounds, all the way to the final and win the tournament. It seems simple, but let me explain this new system UEFA have come up with. Teams will still qualify for the tournament in the same way they used to with domestic league performances. But UEFA are completely scrapping this idea of a 32 team group stage. And one of the big changes they are making is adding 4 more teams and making it a 36 team league phase. I initially thought every team was going to be playing each other at least once in the league phase, but that would be insane. But it is a little bit different from that. In the Champions League and the Europa League, each team is drawn against 8 opponents. Two from each of the four seeding pots. They would play four games at home and four away. And in the conference league it gets a little bit different but it's the same concept. Except teams would only be drawn against six opponents. Now it's really easy to see some clear flaws within this system. Before in the now old group stage, we went on to play three teams home and away. Creating an equal playing field for both teams as they got to play at their home ground at least once. Which some people say doesn't have that much of an impact, but it most certainly does when your fans look like this. But now, teams are playing 8 games, 2 more than before, which means UEFA's president might be getting a new Ferrari next year. But joke aside, they're playing 4 games home and away, but playing 1 team each time, and it creates a bit of an uneven playing field. And not only does it make it uneven, it's also going to make the season much longer, or fixtures are going to be much more congested. All the games might make it more enjoyable for fans, as they could possibly watch football past the end of the season, or the fixtures will be too close together, there'll be fitness issues with the players and the squads, and fans aren't even going to watch it all because it's so squished together they can't be watching football 24-7. So I'm not quite sure what the plan is there. But moving on, after all the teams have completed their matches in the league phase, places 1-8 to eight will automatically qualify for the round of 16, whereas places 25-36 to 36 will be eliminated from all competitions. Places 9 and 24 will play each other in a knockout playoff final in order to qualify for the rest of the 8 spots in the round of 16. And I'm assuming that teams will no longer be able to drop from Champions League to Europa League. But after the knockout playoffs, are the regular knockout phases we all know and love. The round of 16, quarterfinals, semifinals, and the final. And all the matches will still be two-legged as well, except the final of course. Now this new system could make the UCL quite exciting, and it might be interesting to see something different, but honestly there are so many flaws with this. First off, in the league phase, the odds are totally stacked against small teams. Take Porto in 2004 as an example. Their group in the 2003-04 UCL campaign was Real Madrid, Marseille, and Partizan. Porto not only beat the odds just making it past the group stage, but then they had to play Man United in the round of 16, and this Man U team was absolutely stacked, and they still managed to get by them winning 3-2 on aggregate. They then played Leon in the corners beating them, and they barely beat Deportivo La Corona before they went on to beat Monaco in the final 3-0. Obviously Porto was like David and they just beat Goliath, but I don't think stories like this would be even close to possible in this new system. Because in the league phase, Porto had to play Man City, Man United, Barcelona, and then Borussia Dortmund, and then Liverpool, and then Real Madrid. You get my point that it would be heavily stacked against any smaller teams, who have to beat these huge clubs again and again, ultimately taken away from the beauty of football, everyone loves an underdog story. The second flaw I found really makes me mad. As a football fan, you might remember the Super League, a project proposed by some of the most powerful people in the sport to create this league, if you even want to call it that, that combined the 20 biggest teams in the world to play against each other in a tournament. And this tournament looked very similar to how the new UCL format looks, where there would be a league that qualifies them for the knockout rounds, and it would be like a regular tournament. But the bad part about this is that clubs would have to leave behind their domestic leagues and the Champions League, which would create some massive issues. For one, doing this would create a bubble in football. Smaller clubs with smaller fan bases would slowly cease to exist. Basically, cause the beauty of the sport to die. Because I think it would get boring watching the same 20 teams go at it year after year. And a lot of fans thought the same thing, so they started to protest all over Europe. And some of the biggest clubs in the world decided to opt out, so the project was quickly abandoned. But why do I mention this? The whole league phase knockout system reminds me of the Super League, just repackaged into the UCL bundle. Because like I said, it's taking away opportunity from the smaller clubs, and making it much harder for them to progress past the, for the league phase now. But the third flaw I discovered is kind of mind blowing. It's the fact that they advertise this new change to the format as thrilling, exciting, a new era of European club football, and that every match and every goal will count from day one. Which will make for more exciting matches, but will it? I think from the start of the competition there will certainly be more hype, 
and winning games will matter more and accumulating points will all matter more. But once the biggest teams qualify in the top 8, they will do the same thing as the big teams do now when they qualify in the group stage. They'll play the younger players and just turn down the intensity, which will inevitably happen in the league phase and it can't be prevented. So it seems that it might not be a new and exciting era of football, but possibly a more corrupt version that caters to the biggest teams. And by now you might be thinking, what was the whole motive and point behind this switch? Well first, if any leader or business person in any given industry is always trying to improve and make the most money possible. That's just how the world works now. But things with the Champions League have been growing a bit slow for these past few years. I don't have exact historical numbers, but since 2016 up until 2021, the average number of live viewers during the Champions League final have gone down almost 50% from peaking in the 2017-18 season. I mean, it has recently spiked up a bit, but those numbers hadn't gone back to what they were about 6 years ago. So in order to grow their audience, they decided to reinvent the tournament and repackage it. It's purely a money decision. And at the end of the day, there's nothing we can really do, and if it makes you upset, you're not alone. There are thousands of comments on the video you have posted on X, complaining about how it is literally a super league, but it's okay because the money is going to UEFA. But let me know your thoughts about this in the comments. Is this a stupid idea? Do you like it? Let me know. And subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any video ideas, leave them down below, and I'll see you next week.